Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to do articles. In English grammar, we have three articles, a and the. They are used to modify our nouns. Usually the articles are placed before the noun. Now let's understand how and when we use our articles and what does it mean when we use our articles. We have a and an which point out to our singular nouns and also they are used for general which is non-specific nouns. So these are called our indefinite nouns. We use a and an before those nouns. The is used for the plural nouns and it is also telling us about a definite specific noun. Now let's start with a and an. If both of these point to the singular noun and they both talking about they talk about a non-specific indefinite nouns then what is the difference between a and an the difference is when our noun begins with a consonant sound we used a we use a before our noun but if we have our our noun which begins with a vowel sound then we use an before our noun Let's understand with examples. A man, a man, a one, we are talking about one single man. So one man, a man. Starting with M, which is our consonant sound, so we use A. It is pointing to a singular noun. It begins, uh, the noun begins with a consonant sound. And also we are talking generally about, generally about man. So we use A man. Again, the noun here is puppy. Puppy begins with P, which is our consonant sound. We use A before it, it is telling us it's a singular noun. And also we are ta generally talking about just some puppy and then a pen okay so P again consonant sound it will have a before it it is talking about a single noun which is again a non-specific indefinite noun we're not talking about out of lot of pens we're not talking about particular pen we're generally talking about pens okay so we use a pen now when is an used an is used before the nouns when the noun is producing is having the vowel sound let's take some examples Now, if you wonder that do we use the nouns just in the beginning of the sentence? No, we can use the articles anywhere, wherever we have our nouns. Now, let's take examples of an, an egg, egg, a sound. Egg is a noun, it's singular and also it does have a vowel sound. So we use an before it. Same thing goes for umbrella, umbrella, a sound, it begins with a. It's a single umbrella pointing to a non-specific umbrella and we are using an. So it could be non-specific. We can use generally when we're talking about something or also when we just want to tell it's a singular thing. Another example would be an hour. Now you would say there's an, there's an H over here. Okay, there's an H. Now when I say an H, H, a sound is coming. That's why I used an H. Same here, when we have our, the first sound that you hear is your vowel sound. We're not just going to look at which one, if it's a consonant or not. We're not just looking at the, con the first consonant. We are looking, we are going to hear the sound that this word makes. The first sound that I hear is our, our. So it's going to be an hour. It is a little bit confusing at the beginning, but you'll get the hang of it as in when you see that it is used before the vowel, also before the vowel sound. Now, 
do we use our articles just before the nouns we generally do but if we have an adjective we have an adjective before our noun which is describing our noun we use our articles before that too but this article is talking about our noun okay it's not talking about that adjective but still we use it before our adjective and also now in case of the sound that the our adjective is producing if our adjective is the beginning sound of our adjective is the consonant sound then we use a if we have the beginning sound of our adjective as the vowel sound we use an let's take some examples so i'm saying a wise man a wise man b sound so we are going to talk about we are talking about a single wise man b sound is of the adjective but it does have a consonant sound so we are going to use a b so a here again a cute puppy a cute puppy now cute is our adjective it is describing our noun begins with k sound which is a consonant sound so i'm going to keep a over here i'm going to say a cute puppy now this is a this is let's take the color of this as orange so i want to say this is an orange pen what i'm going to use a orange pen an orange pen i'm going to use an orange pen so i'm going to change this a so i'm going to cross it out and use an orange pen is it still talking about my pen yes my article is still telling us that my pen is a singular noun generally talking about all the orange pens but we are talking about just one single orange pen non specific one now because our adjective begins with o the sound is orange o sound vowel sound we are going to have an orange pen and so you see what we can do over here is the same thing if i use uh, an adjective before our noun let's see if i say a brown egg do i still use an no i don't i changed it to i'm going to change it to a a brown egg is it still talking about my noun yes my article is still talking about my noun it's just that it will vary depending upon which word it has after my article so if it is again if it's a consonant sound a if it is a vowel sound it's going to be my an here let's take more example an honest man honest starts with if you write it down man is my noun honest is my adjective it is describing the man honest begins with h but honest the word honest has a beginning sound of vowel so this is going to be an honest man because an will depend upon the first sound the word which it is next to it so an honest man i hope it was clear and let's move on to the the usage of our article the is very clear when it's talking about a particular thing over and over again in our sentences or we are talking about one particular thing when we are using it before our plural nouns we always use the
The girls in the park were chatting. Now the is used here before our plural noun. So I'm going to use the. I cannot use a here. This is a plural noun. So we cannot use a. We cannot use an. It's going to be the girls in the park. So does it mean this is a plural noun? No, it's not. Here the is showing you the usage when we're talking about a particular park. So in this sentence, we are definitely talking about a specific park. This the is used for to show that definite uh, noun here. So park is some park that we are talk particularly talking about. Not just any park, not in a part, and not just any park that the girls are chatting. They are talk they are sitting and chatting in this park. So the girls are the girls in the park were chatting. Let's take more examples. The man in blue uniform was angry. So we are talking about a no noun which is man here. And we are talking about a particular man. Not just any man in uh, that we have. We are talking about a particular man here. So whenever I want to show that that noun is a definite one. We are talking about a particular person. We used the man. Now let's take we are Let's take an example when we are talking about uh, something again and again. So if I want to talk about a book, so I'm going to begin uh, with, I am reading a book. That means I want to show that this book is one single book. Now it does not show the that it is a definite noun. That means I'm not talking about a particular book. Book, I'm talking about a book. That means I'm reading just one book. The book has animals in the story. So now, which is this the telling us? This book, the is telling us that I'm talking, I'm still talking about the book I began in the first sentence with. I am reading a book. The book has animals in it. The is telling us that I'm still talking about the book that I began with. And we are talking about that there are animals in this book, in this particular book that I talked about. And so you see, in both the sentence, we have shown that how we use a book to talk about singular book. Now we are not talking about it being specific or not. In the second sentence, when we say the book has animals in it, that means I'm talking about the book that I'm reading and it has got animals in it. And um, that's all that we have for the articles. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.